Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm excited to share with you an organization that you may have heard of. It used to be called Friends of Ferrells, and I'm joined by Colin, who is the director of what is now the Madison Cat Project. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm glad to learn a little bit more. And now, this organization has actually been around for quite a while, but when it began, it was Dane County Friends of Ferrells. And so a lot of people might know it as that. But in September, you changed the name to Madison Cat Project. Let's yeah. talk about why. Yeah, um, in 2001, when we began, um, we were very small. Um, we dealt only with feral cats. We only did um, a few hundred adoptions every year. Um, that's grown to between six and 700. Um, and our, the scope of our program is just much greater now, and we're able to do more because our resources are much larger and our, um, just our impact has grown. Yeah. And so we wanted our name to better reflect what we are doing for the community and be a little bit more general. Uh, because we have a lot of programmatic um, offerings now that are not just feral cats. Wonderful. Yeah. So the scope of work, it's not that you've eliminated something, it's really that you've added. Right. Um, our primary focus is still uh, community cats, which um, are generally feral cats, but also sometimes just under-socialized or cats who have litter box problems or just um, have some things that make us feel like an outdoor home would be a better fit. Um, but. That's still our primary focus, but we've just added programs and we want people to um, sort of get the idea that we do more than just that now. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you are able to adopt an indoor cat from Madison Cat Project, yes. as you mentioned, and then you partner with rural properties and you have a barn cat program, right? So we let's do. talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, we partner with people outside of the Madison area um, to either start a colony for their farm or rural property um, or to kind of bolster the population there um, and just to find homes for cats that just either don't welcome human contact or just would be a better fit for an outdoor home. Sure. Um, and so people that either move on to a farm or their cats have left or any sort of um, reason that they want to start a colony, they can connect with us and we work with them. Um, similar to how we work with indoor adopters, that we have a, a robust um, application process and we work with them to make sure that everything they're set up to do is as ready to be successful as possible. Sure. This is an interesting topic because I haven't thought much about how different cats can be and how the environment really could be suitable or very unsuitable for them if, if they've got a certain personality. Yeah. Uh, and I think for people too, when they're adopting a cat, they might want to meet the cat first and, and sort of experience some of the things that you've probably already figured out, but can they do that? Um, for the indoor cats, yes. Um, okay. Every so often we do have people come by and pick out their outdoor cats. Um, we offer a service where we talk with them um, at length to figure out what kind of personalities they're interested in mm -hmm. um, and try to do matchmaking that way for the outdoor cats. A lot of our outdoor adopters through our barn cat program don't really care what the personality of the cat is. They just want some um, rodent control or um, just some help on their farm. Sure. Um, and so we have people who really want to interact with those cats and will want to come and meet them and some people who just want us to pick for them. And, and so we try to um, tailor that service to whatever they're looking for. Oh, wow, really interesting. And do you have other programs as well? We do. Um, we have a once a month uh, spay day program that we partner with Madison College and the University of Wisconsin Veterinary Program um, to do a high volume spay neuter clinic once a month for um, rural properties that need some help that way. Um, and then we have an affordable spay neuter program um, at our shelter Monday through Friday, which is more geared toward people with um, one or two cats, indoor cats that they need um, an affordable option for. Um, and so we offer a, a couple different spay neuter programs as well. Wow, really great stuff that you guys are doing. Uh, we've had some information on screen throughout the interviews, letting people know how they can get in touch with you. But let's talk about support. How can people support you? The two greatest way people, greatest ways that people can support us are through volunteering and uh, donating money. Sure. Um, and both of those things, um, information can be found on our website either to apply to volunteer or to make a donation. Um, People giving of their time and financially are the two greatest ways that they can support us. Wonderful. Well, a, a really interesting organization that has come across some wonderful changes and it sounds like all, all good things are happening for you guys now. So if you'd like to uh, either donate or help by volunteering at any time or resources, 
get in touch with these folks at Madison Cat Project. This is Colin, the director. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. We've got, oh, we don't have more talk of the town. This is our grand finale. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of our guests for joining us. We'll see you next time here on Talk of the Town.